The federal government and the Assembly of First Nations misled the public by not disclosing their $20 billion child welfare compensation deal, left out some victims and reduced payments for others. That's according to the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal in a document obtained by CBC News. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovich has more. Olivia, the parties in this case had hotly anticipated this decision. Can you walk us through some of the key findings? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a scathing decision from the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal. It's 170 pages, and it expands upon a decision the tribunal made last October when it rejected this $20 billion compensation deal. But what we learned this week in the decision that we obtained is that the tribunal believes the Indigenous Services Minister, Patty Haidu, and the Assembly of First Nations misled the public when they announced this deal, making it sound essentially better than it actually is. Now, it is a huge amount of money, $20 billion, but it still leaves out some children and families who Canada discriminated against. And so when the government held a press conference, Brett, last January in 2022, almost a year ago uh, now, uh, the Minister of Indigenous Services, Patty Haidu, she said $40,000 is the floor for all children. But what she didn't say is that children who were placed in federally funded Funded placements, these are child welfare situations that are funded by the federal government, that those children are, are actually not included in this deal at all. And that's something the tribunal has taken issue with. Now, Canada says this is a new group of children that it, it, the tribunal never actually told Canada to pay compensation to these children. But the tribunal says that it doesn't matter how these children were, were funded, how these placements were funded. All that matters is that these First Nations children were forcibly removed from their homes, communities and their families. Now, the federal government and the AFN promised to judicially review this decision before they had even seen it. Money was supposed to flow next year. So where do we go now? Well, this is a major setback to all the parties involved, Brett, and they're anxiously trying to figure out what to do. We understand that negotiations are still underway. There's work going on even throughout the holidays. And I had a recent interview this week with the Crown Indigenous Relations Minister, Mark Miller, who says he's hopeful compensation can flow in 2023, which was the plan before the tribunal issued this decision. However, it's a little unclear if that will satisfy, of course, the tribunal's orders. And the Assembly of First Nations lead negotiator Cindy Woodhouse, she told me today that the negotiations are ongoing with the federal government and that she says that dis discussions about adding more money to the $20 billion are positive. And Olivia, you mentioned just a little while ago that Minister of Indigenous Services, Patty Haidu, was found to have made some misleading statements to the public about this. How has she responded to that finding? Well, we received a statement from her office. She wasn't available for an interview. The statement didn't specifically address the criticism against her in this ruling, but it did say that the government stands by this settlement agreement, that it's dedicated to compensating First Nations children. One of the ways it might be able to do this, Brett, is the tribunal actually says the government can take out a clause in this final settlement agreement that requires it to get approval from the tribunal. This would allow the government to pay compensation and deal with these tribunal orders later. However, the government, as you mentioned, is fighting the tribunal in court against these orders. So it's a little unclear how this can happen unless it drops these judicial reviews, these appeals. And it's quite likely that we'll see this litigation continue well into 2023. Okay, a story that's certainly not going anywhere. CBC's Olivia Stefanovich, thank you. Thanks for having me.